What's going on, adventurers? So today we're going to talk about the Disney dining plan. We're actually on the Disney.go.com website again. Um, Basically, it's WaltDisneyWorld.com. It'll bring it up if you type that into your search engine. But I've had a lot of people ask me about the dining plan. We actually, probably 90% of the time, we get the dining plan. And we're going to go over that real quick with you guys. Get on the DisneyWorld.com website. Go to Things to Do, the tab here. And then you just want to go down to where it says Dining Plans. Click on that. The cool new thing that they have is the mobile ordering. That's for, um, you know, basically like your quick service. So that's a really cool thing that they have going. We actually haven't done it yet, but I'm going to do a tutorial about it because, you know, I'm I'm familiar with the the process. So we are going to just go over the different the different options here. Uh, first of all, this is going to be your most economical um, dining plan that you can purchase. This is the Disney Quick Service Program. And basically, um, here's the information about it. Uh, The good thing also, I don't know, you know, if you guys um, enjoy alcoholic beverage once in a while with your meal, that's a good thing about the dining plan because, you know, if you want an alcoholic beverage at Disney, it it can get really pricey really quickly. So the cool thing is now if you're 21 or over, of course, it entitles you to a beer, a glass of wine or a cocktail with lunch and dinner, I believe. Of course, that's not included. With, actually, no. Sometimes you can get like a mimosa or a Bloody Mary with breakfast. I take that back. Um, it just depends where you eat. Of course, most of the time when we uh, purchase the dining plan, we get the deluxe dining plan. And I'll explain that to you shortly why we do that. Uh, let's just go for more details here. Okay. So here's the basically what you really need to know. So first of all, just so you know this, um, if you're traveling with extended family or, um, you know, if it's just you or you and your significant other, whoever is in your specific room, like if everybody stays in one room, for instance, if you have a grand villa, this is just something that's good to know. Everybody that's staying in that room has to be on the same dining plan. Just so you know that. Um, So if you are going to be traveling with somebody, let's just say you're traveling with your in-laws. If you're traveling with your in-laws, then what you may want to do, if they, you know, I mean, if everybody's on the same page, it's all good. Go ahead and get your dining plan. You're just going to have to work that out ahead of time because, um, you know, you do, obviously you need to pay for it before you go. So you're just going to have to, that's going to be something that needs to be discussed way, way ahead so that there's no issues If there is a discrepancy and whoever it is that you're traveling with, I mean, as long as obviously, you know, your children are going to be, you know, that's going to be your decision too. But if it's, you know, like other adults, if it's an issue, then what I would do is get adjoining rooms because that way there's no problem with saying, okay, we're in our room. We're going to get the dining plan. You're in your room. You can do whatever you want. That's fine. But I just wanted to put that out there because some people don't realize that, um, So that's definitely a good thing to know. So basically with your quick service dining plan, here's what you get. Two quick service meals and two snacks per person per day. Now each guest over three is going to receive a refillable drink mug, okay? That can be used your entire visit. That's basically a length of stay, but it's only good for refillable drinks at your resort or any other Disney resort. You can refill them at other Disney resorts. You cannot refill them at the park. Let's go back to the other dining plans real quick. Now let's look at the Disney dining plan, the the regular dining plan. This is actually the middle of the road one. Um, So the good thing about this one is it actually does include table service. The other one, the quick service, obviously is just for quick service, for your counter service. We're going to check the details here. Okay, so this one entitles you to one quick service meal per person per day, one table table service meal per person per day, and two snacks per person per day. Now, 
the table service meal can also be re redeemed at a quick service meal um, restaurant. However, it's not vice versa. It's just the table service you can redeem for a quick service. And I think a table service and a quick service, either of those can redeem, be redeemed for three snacks. But I wouldn't do it because that's a waste of your money. So it's the same thing. You receive your refillable drink mug. And then you'll have your one quick service entree. With that, you get your non-alcoholic beverage. Or alcoholic beverages are available for guests 21 or older. So that's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can have an alcoholic beverage for breakfast. So there you go. Um, for your table service, it includes, for breakfast, one entree, one non-alcoholic beverage, or alcoholic beverage for guests 21 or older. Or you can have a full buffet or family-style meal. And each table service meal will include, for lunch or dinner, one entree, one dessert, and one non-alcoholic beverage or alcoholic beverage for ages 21 or older. And um, the only difference there is that you do get dessert versus the breakfast. Same thing goes with the beverages and same thing with the snacks. So it's very similar. The only difference is instead of having two quick service meals, you're going to have one quick service and one table service. Snacks and everything else remains the same. So let's go back to the deluxe dining plan, which is our favorite, and I'll tell you why. Here it is. Disney Deluxe Dining Plan. Now, before I get into everything that it includes, what I'm going to say is this. It's a lot of food. But if you do it right, it's going to be perfect. So let's get into it, and then I'll explain what I'm talking about. So what's included with this one? The Deluxe Dining Plan includes three meals, and those are table service or quick service, but we, 99.999% of the time, we have table service. And then two snacks. The only time we have ever diverted from the table service with this one is actually if we were both pretty hungry and it was like late and we decided we were just going to split like a, you know, a sandwich, a hamburger or a turkey sandwich, something like that. What we would do is go to a quick service and I think most of the time it actually ended up being, yeah, we just use one, one credit and we would split it. So, you know, and that was if we had like plenty of credits left over, cause that does happen sometimes. And we want to make sure that we utilize every, like make sure you utilize every single credit. Even if you have to order room service, utilize every credit. So let me also tell you about why this is good for us. So it includes three credits and it says the same thing with the deluxe signing plan. You get an appetizer, an entree, a dessert, and then your beverages remain the same or the buffet. But this one is perfect. If you're a foodie like we are, and you want to try the signature restaurants. If you're into signature restaurants, if you're into fine dining, the only thing it doesn't include is Victoria and Albert's. I'm not going to say the only thing. There are some other restaurants that do not participate in the Disney dining plan. Make sure you check prior. They do. I, I'll show you. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I can show you how to access it. This does include the signature restaurants. It includes Cinderella's Royal Table, of course. See right here, requires two table service credits. Two table service credits will be redeemed per person. Now, Cinderella's World Table is one of the restaurants that you don't have to pay the tip or anything. That's included with your meal. So if you use your credits to redeem that, you, of course you can go above and beyond that. And you can, you know, you can add some if you'd like for great service. So they always, you know, the cast members always do appreciate that. And it's always nice to reward people for great service. The dinner shows. Those as well. hoop de doo musical review. I know for a fact that your tip is included in that price as well. And I think also for the luau. 
It doesn't specify that here. But when you go to book it, make sure you read about it because I'm pretty sure if, and if they haven't changed things. Um, that's how it was last time we went, which was maybe a year ago. So now private in-room dining. So highly recommend it if you feel like you're not going to use all of your points, um, your credits, because you can just kind of chill out if you're having a, you know, if you've had an exhausting day and you really don't feel like dragging it out to the restaurant, you just want to order in and, and get cozy and chill out with your family. Um, highly recommended to do that. But just so you know, you can actually, um, in-room dining is actually two credits per person as well. That's considered a signature. It's considered signature dining because it's brought to you. Now, what I would do if you're not super hungry is order one meal and get some extra utensils. Just let them know that. And then it's two credits, but, you know, if there's two of you, maybe it's later at night, you know, or early in the morning, and you really don't want a whole lot of food, then I would recommend doing that. We've done that before too, and that works out really well. And then you haven't spent any more than you would have at, re you know, one a regular restaurant. It would have been two credits for both of you. So, you know, that's another thing to think about. Pizza delivery. That's good if you have a family. It includes one pizza. It includes two single serving non-alcoholic beverages or alcoholic beverages for ages 21 or over, of course, and two desserts. So, you know, that's good for a family because you could certainly split the pizza and you could certainly split the desserts. So this is how we do it as far as the dining plan. When we purchase the deluxe dining plan, what we end up doing is this. Because I know you're thinking right now, wow, that's a lot of food. And it is, but there's a method to my madness. So what we normally do is this. We'll normally either eat breakfast and dinner, like an a later breakfast, maybe 10 o'clock-ish, and then we'll have a dinner, and the dinner will be a signature dinner. So let's just, I'm just going to give you an example. Let's say we have breakfast at Ohana at 10 a.m. at the Polynesian, which is a great breakfast, by the way. It's a great character breakfast. And we're going to do another video about character breakfast coming up here soon. Um, but definitely, if you have a dinner, like if there's somewhere that you want to eat, definitely check into the signature restaurants. Like I said, breakfast at Ohana around 10 and then maybe like a 6 or 7 p.m. at like, let's say Narcoosie's, which is the Grand Floridian. Amazing food. If you love seafood, highly recommended. I cannot recommend it enough. It's, it's one of our favorite. I call it a hidden gem because it's just the food is divine. It's really good. It's very good service. The menu is amazing. The, the double lobster tails. If you like lobster, that's where you want to be. Narcoosies. So that's your meal credits for the day. And then you have two snacks. So, you know, yes, eating at 10 a.m. and then not eating again until 7 p.m. sounds like a long time to wait, especially if you're out of the parks. But utilize your snack credits. You know, um, and the thing is, they do have sweet options, you know, like ice cream or candy or, you know, uh, candy apples, things of that nature, popcorn. But they also have savory options such as like fries or um, there are plenty of other things that you could have that are snack credits. So make sure you do your research and check out what you can get. But that's just an example but we will do that every day. We'll have a breakfast or a very early lunch. Like lunch is most, most restaurants start serving lunch around 11 a.m. So, you know, maybe we'll go to Liberty Tree Tavern. Let's just say, you know, let's just mix up a bit. We'll go to Liberty Tree Tavern right at 11 a.m. Because that's one of our favorites at Magic Kingdom. And then let's say for dinner, we decided we want to go over to, I don't know, the California Grill. So we can do that, you know. And it, it just, I feel like it gives you a lot more flexibility because if you just have two dining plan reservations each day, it's a lot easier to 
kind of finagle what you're going to do the rest of the day. So, you know, that's just some advice. And let's go back and see. Here we go. All right. So let's let's go for the deluxe dining plan. Let's see what's available at the deluxe dining plan places. Okay. So he, I guess they've changed it. It used to be a PDF. And they will still give you that when you, upon check-in, um, they're going to give you a, a nice printout of all of the places that are participating, the restaurants that are participating. Of course, you need to know ahead of time because it helps you make your plans. I mean, you want to you want to make your reservations as far as possible ahead. Um, Tiffin's is another amazing restaurant. If you haven't dined there, let's take a look at the menu, actually. I'm sure it's changed since I've been there. When I was there, I had an amazing beet foam salad. So, so good. And uh, see, actually here it says some dining plans accepted. You can actually click on that. Like if you're interested in a restaurant, here you go. Look, Disney quick service, not accepted. Disney dining plan, two credits. And Disney deluxe dining plan, two credits. So there you go. You can, you can choose Tiffin's. Um, and you can eat at the signature restaurants if you have the regular dining plan. Don't get me wrong. However, you're certainly going to run out of credits because that's already two days of entitlement. So, you know, it costs a little bit more to indulge with the Disney Deluxe Dining Plan. But, you know, I mean, even as even as frequently as we had been going to Disney, and we're headed back hopefully in June, but as frequently as we go, um, it's worth it to us because part of Disney is just relaxing and enjoying yourself and eating the foods that you want and trying new foods that you normally wouldn't try. But if you're on the, on the Disney dining plan and you, you know, you're just like, Oh yeah, I'm going to try that. Then, you know, I mean, you just, you really can't go wrong. Let's check out the menu for Tiffin's. They definitely have some exotic foods and look, here's the truth about Disney. If you go to a Disney restaurant and you try something and you really just, you don't like it at all. Let your server know they will fix it. They will make it right for you. You know, you're at Disney World. They want you to be happy. That's the bottom line. They want you to be very happy. They'll make it right for you. Choose something else. I'm sure they'll say, oh, you know, we recommend this or, you know, what would you like? What kind of foods do you like? They will fix you up. So let's just look at Tiffin's for an example. And then I'm going to let you guys go. But I just want to show you this real quick. These are the options. And Tiffin's is more of an African flair kind of, you know, it's an animal kingdom. So they have different foods. It's, it's kind of like um, more exotic, but they have some really good stuff. Maybe it's not the best example. <laughs> they have charred octopus. And one of Lisa's favorite things to get at the signature restaurants is the artisanal cheeses. She loves a good cheese plate. And let me tell you, they don't disappoint. Here's a charcuterie tray. Those are smoked meats. Um, Bread service. I've heard, I've heard very good things about bread service. Uh, not specifically at Tiffin's, but I have heard good things. The avocado salad sounds good. Um, I would probably try the mushroom soup. That sounds amazing. So that's that. That's an appetizer. And the cool thing is, if you want to try a couple different things, whoever you're there with, have them order one thing, you order another, then everybody can try some different appetizers. You know, it's, it's cool that way. So here are the main courses. Short rib sounds good. Um, when I went, they had an amazing ribeye. It was, it was one of the best meals that I think I'd ever had at Disney. It was so fantastic. Here, grilled Wagyu beef, lobster tail, purple potatoes, charred peppers. That's what I would get. If I went there right now, that's what I would get. That sounds phenomenal. So if you go there, yeah, order that if you like surf and turf. Now, let me just point this out real quick. I'm glad I saw this because I, I forgot to mention this. There are certain things that are not included with the Disney dining plan. Those are called enhancements, and it will state very clearly not eligible in the Disney dining plan. That's not to say that you can't order that and just pay out of pocket for it. If it's something that you are like, oh, I have to try that. I've got to try it then try it. But just remember, that's not going to be included with your bill. So, um, you know, I mean, if you want to do it, go for it. You're on vacation. It's all good. Here are the desserts. 
Let me see. Yes, they have what I got. This was so good. The South American chocolate ganache was fantastic. So if you find yourself in Tiffin's and you're not sure what to get for dessert, definitely go for that if you love chocolate. If you are a chocolate lover, you are going to enjoy that. And here's the kids menu. Let me just show you guys. Um, I didn't, I've never even actually looked at the kids menus here uh, at Tiffin's, but let's take a look here, shall we? So they have shredded tacos, uh, a grilled chicken basket, shrimp, a ginger tamari glaze, fresh sustainable fish, and impossible foods, bunny chow. Hmm. Interesting. And then they get to choose two vegetables. That's great. And there's, these are the drinks that they can choose from. And here are the specialty cocktails that you can choose from. Some good stuff there. But see how nice this is? This would normally be $13.75. This would normally be $14.25. So, you know, it really does save you. But like I said, with the table service, um, the regular dining plan, you also get to have the, the specialty cocktails as well. So it's just a matter of preference. It's just a matter of how much you want to spend. But, you know, if you are interested in new experiences and just not having to worry, you know, just make sure that you budget for the tips because it's a good idea to do 18%. So I hope this was informative. I hope you guys learned something. You know, I just figured we could offer a little insight. So hopefully, you know, we helped you out a little bit. If you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. If this video was helpful to you, please drop a comment in the comment section. Smash that like button. We really appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And also tap the bell because that'll inform you every time we upload a new video. And hopefully that'll be informative as well. So we appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. And we'll see you on our next Raptor adventure.